the vital government information arm dedicated to disseminate accurate, relevant, and responsible information and communication services in support of the Presidency, the Bureau of Communication Services. BCS continuously provide government organizations and select groups information on the President's thrusts, priorities, and accomplishments through publications, networking, special events, and other communication support services. We have the PCO is our uh, head agency. We have four aligned, other, other aligned agencies which is the BCS Bureau of Communication of Services. They are the events, the policy planning, uh, of how to communicate to the president, and as well as we are the publishing arm of the executive branch, from the office of the president to the executive branch. We are the ones who publish the magazines, the tabloids, and all of those are one of the things that we do for these events. Another attached agency is the PEV or the Philippine Television. Network. That is the official government TV station of the government. Although matagal na siya, modernization-wise, the Secretary Marlene Andonor actually went in as uh, President Duterte, the Secretary of the CEO, we were able to establish a very, very uh, competitive uh, government TV network. Okay? Next is you have the Philippine News Agency. The Philippine News Agency is a news wire that connects from different news wires around the world. Government news wires. Government to government news wires. Next is we have the PID, Philippine Information Office. We have information officers from all over the world who are responsible to disseminate the communication of the government and the uh, whatever programs that we have down the grassroots. So we have, uh, I think, around 70 provincial offices nationwide and our information officers are, are, are located there, yung mga tao mga na to. And they're the ones who's responsible of, for communicating even from the ground to up. So, yung one, iba iba yung monitoring namin, it's totoo lang, because we, we function differently as uh, different agencies. We also have our team or the Philippine Broadcast Services, where in Nando yung FM2, I don't know if you've heard of that, FM2, Rajubili, for the radio broadcasting of the government. So that, um, doon, lahat ng radio stations, yan ang official government radio station. And I think we're also housing 38 stations nationwide. From, from, from Batanes to Colosu. Uh, we, uh, we have a wide reach. So that's government radio station. And then we also have the pretty Siya yung official documentation na uh, president ng presidente, religion media man. I don't know if you've heard of it, pero sila yung responsible sa pagla-live. Pag every time nito-live si presidente, nakita niyo yung RTD. Sila yun. So sila yung nito-document ng activity si presidente, even the executive branch. So we want to storyfy lahat ng agencies dapat nakakapag-storyfy. So si IBC has her history. Uh, has their own content about the uh, drug. For example, the assumptions about the drug in the Philippines, they have their own content. Graduate Filipinas will do their own content as well. Uh, BCS, along with the other agencies, will do their own content as well. So, meaning, mas naging maingan, mas nagwan message. Upon monitoring, pag naman monitor naman, naman monitor naman namin yung mga connections na punta, nakikita naman namin kung ano yung mga dapat with the help of social media. Actually, we have seen what we do, what the government can do more in communicating to the BCS are committed to consistently provide quality communication development and production services to our target audiences in pursuit of national development by meeting the requirements of both internal and external stakeholders, implementing sustained quality management system to best comply with Bureau's mandate, ensuring that the Bureau's work office is qualified, competent, and well-equipped, and improving continually the effectiveness of our quality management system. 
BCS provides and develops communication services relating to policy formulation, communication planning, project development, research and evaluation, and the coordination of information planning within the framework of the overall thrust and priorities of National Development Plan. Under Section 17 of Executive Number 297, BCS shall have the following functions. Develop and conduct a public information program that will enhance awareness to and secure positive public acceptance and support of the programs and activities of the government and the presidency. Coordinate information dissemination programs and projects, including campaigns directed at the Bureau's specific target public. Supervise the overall conceptualization, printing, and production of special publications and audiovisual information or communication materials and in support of the activities of the government and the presidency. In 1987, Executive Number 297 reorganized OPS and renamed BNFI as Bureau of Communications Services or BCS. In 2010, Executive Order Number 4 reorganized and renamed OPS to Presidential Communications Operations Office. <laughs> Pati na rin ang mga non-governmental organizations, pinagpadala natin ang lahat ng publications na pinag-produce natin. And at the same time, um, yung mga feedback form na nilalagyan natin sa bawat publication, tayo din ang nakaka-receive. Tapos pinag-forward natin yun sa ibang duration naman for their evaluation. Yun. Things like this would, um, for example, a crisis comes. Uh, if there's a national crisis that's happening, you have to think fast, you have to do the decision making fast. Sometimes we are democratic and we are about free speech and everything. And sometimes we become so much experts with what we usually uh, uh, know, you know, know about and all that. But sometimes it takes, parang because you're now an influencer, when people like your opinion, they feel that it's right. Diba? Pero sometimes, they nakaka damage them. Kasi you don't know what the reality is. Especially if you're talking about um, uh, public health, you cannot just uh, say something else. Or be so good at aralan mo, yun yung sasabi. Kung yung guidance mo is from this certain particular department or the government, then that's good. That's very good. You just have to pick it. So sometimes uh, social media then would help us and sometimes we lose so much. We eat going I know we eat crisis for breakfast, no? We see oh we are rising crisis dito, the Namino monitor and so we have monitoring so also here. So from from the LGU to local governments to the something from them, they would actually give us uh, what we need. Based on the competition, of course, right now, mas mag open pa ngayon dahil mag communication is in bad. Siguro mag maganda rin yung sabihin na isang bagay na nakakadoko sa amin is the technology. Diba? Lahat na lang pwede mag buy for food, lahat na lang. So, minsan, if you have meetings or emergency na hindi mo na kaya mo, well, communication, the communication is open, well, ano nga yung coordinated, doon pa lang nakikita nyo na yung mga, mga updates, yung mga, and then we can, we can echo it. Whatever is being discussed, the final decisions will be in the body, yun yung ini-echo nga.